Hi, I'm Ashley here at Marvel's Kids Museum with your daily dose of play. Today I am in C Shapes where we love to learn by playing with math. Today we are talking about patterns. I'm going to show you how to make this awesome colored pasta that you can use for pattern play at home with just some simple ingredients that you can find right in your very own kitchen. All you need to make this fun colored pasta is pasta, any shape or size will do, a Ziploc bag, food coloring, any type of vinegar, and a tray to spread your pasta out and let it dry. Let's get started. First I'm going to take the bag and I'm just going to pour a little bit of vinegar into the bag. The amount of vinegar that you pour will depend on how much pasta you're going to make. Then I'm going to drop some food coloring in. You can also teach color mixing through this. So I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to put some red to make a really pretty orange. Once I have my colors in my bag, I'm just going to shake it around a little bit to get it nice and mixed up. Oh, that's a really pretty orange. And then I'm going to add my pasta. And I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. After you've got your pasta mixed up really well, you're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then you will open it up and spread it out on a nice tray. You want to make sure that it's spread out nice and evenly so that it can dry and your pasta won't stick together. Once you have your pasta all laid out, you'll let it dry and then it will be perfect for pattern play. I've already got some ready to go right here. Patterns can be created through talking about colors, shapes, sizes, whatever you want to pick out as something that makes each object in your pattern a little bit different. Here's a fun little necklace that I strung that is red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green. A pattern is something that repeats itself. When we are playing with patterns, we are creating educated guesses, making assumptions, and learning to also create hypotheses. We're also developing important critical thinking and logic skills. If you're not interested in colors, you can also talk about patterns and shapes. So I could create one that's bow tie, cylinder, cylinder, crescent, bow tie, cylinder, cylinder, crescent, and keep going. I'm going to create one more pattern. Blue cylinder, red cylinder, green bow tie. Blue cylinder, red cylinder, green bow tie. There are no limits to the patterns that I can make. I can even use this to make necklaces or bracelets. If you don't want to use pasta, patterns can be seen anywhere. You can play pattern I spy when you're in the car or just hanging out in your house. You can also go through your toys and create patterns. I have some trucks and trains here. Let's see what kind of patterns I can find. So I have a dump truck and a cement truck. A dump truck and another cement truck. So that's a pattern right there. What about with the trains? Blue, green, red, blue, green, red. Patterns can be found anywhere. They can be found in nature. They can be found around your house, in your closet, on the street, going on a walk. Everywhere you go, you can find patterns. Be sure to share your patterns with us at Marvel's Kids Museum on social media. See you next time. Have fun.